For the newest James Bond movie Skyfall, English singer Adele recorded the title song. Adele speaks with a strong English accent. Um, someone who works for my management uh, saw this woman pass out in the crowd, this old lady. But her singing voice sounds more American than British. There's a fire starting in my heart. Why do British vocalists often sound American when they sing? Because that's the way everyone expects pop and rock musicians to sound. British pop singers have been imitating American pronunciations since the Beatles and the Rolling Stones began recording in the 1960s. These musicians were largely influenced by the African-American vernacular English of American blues and rock and roll singers like Chuck Berry. Imitating an American accent involved both the adoption of American vowel sounds and roticity, the pronunciation of R's wherever they appear in a word. Linguist Peter Trudgell tracked roticity in British rock music over the years and found that the Beatles' pronunciation of R's decreased over the course of the 1960s. The trend also went in the opposite direction as new genres developed. American pop-punk vocalists like Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day took on a British-tinged accent to sound more like seminal artists such as Joe Strummer of The Clash. Contemporary singers tend to adopt accents according to their genre. Keith Urban, who is Australian, sings country music with a marked southern accent. Sometimes it's hard for me to understand. Even when singers aren't trying to imitate a particular vocal style, regional dialects tend to get lost in song. Intonation gets overtaken by melody and vocal cadences by a song's rhythm, which makes the British invasion seem a little more American.